Hey, have you heard the big news? Harley-Davidson is doing a virtual launch event for the 2021 models. Yep, January 19th, our hopes and dreams for improvements in the Harley-Davidson line will either be realized or, more likely, will be disappointed again as things like LED lighting still won't be standard on every model. So far, I've seen an announcement for the 2021 lineup and one specifically for the Pan America. The Pan America is the only new bike I've officially seen to be confirmed as launching in 2021. In case you've been living under a rock and didn't know, the Pan America is the 1250C motorcycle that Harley has come out with for the adventure touring segment. It's expected to cost around 19 to 21,000. I guess we'll know in about a month if this guesstimate is anywhere near accurate. The BMW 1250GS Adventure starts out just over $20,000. Personally, I think Harley is biting off more than they can chew trying to compete with top of the line adventure bikes with their very first model in the adventure market. I would have thought using an existing street rod 750 engine to build their first adventure bike would have allowed them to produce a bike at a lower cost, making it easier to enter this new market with a more competitive retail price point. Once proving they can build an adventure bike, then they can expand the lineup. But hey, when you're Harley Davidson, you can compete with top of the line bikes on reputation alone. After all, you're the most desirable motorcycle brand in the world, right? Not to mention with promo videos featuring Aquaman riding a Pan America, it's sure to sell. What I really want to talk about is the Sportster. And if this will be the last year for the Sportster. Have you guys seen this tidbit on the Harley Davidson website that popped up just in the last couple weeks? I was looking up some specs on the Sportster Iron 1200 the other day for a video I did comparing it to the Honda Rebel 1100 that's being released in January of 2021. While I was on HD's website, I came across this in the menu under Future Vehicles. It's the Future High Performance Custom Model. This bike isn't a surprise. It was expected to be released in 2020 originally, but on the website it now claims planned for 2021. With the everything Harley's been through this year, I thought the only new bike being released in 2021 was the Pan America. We know the Bronx was canceled or delayed at best. The future custom model is described as the all new custom motorcycle with the muscular stance, aggressive stripped down styling and 1250 cc's of pure performance. This bike was speculated to be a replacement for the Sportster line over two years ago. We already know that the existing Sportster line will not be available in Europe in 2021. Harley decided, due to declining sales, it was not worth the cost to upgrade that bike to meet the Euro 5 standards. On the website for the Custom 1250, it does state, prototype models shown, production model features will vary, not yet available for sale. All future models shown may not be available in all markets. We don't really know much about this bike still. I'm not seeing any new press releases on it either. It just showed up on the website recently. I did read an article when I was researching the Sportster that a dealership in Europe stated that Harley was working on a future bike to replace the Sportster in that market. So my question to you is, will the traditional Sportster line be killed once the custom 1250 is released? Do you think the custom 1250 is the solution for the markets where the Sportster is already extinct? With Harley having a street 750, the street rod, and the custom 1250, is there a reason to keep the 883 and the 1200s of old? The new CEO is looking to streamline operations and simplify the product line already. They killed three existing models in 2020. Keeping the old Sportster line in production would be expensive, especially when they have to come up with a replacement for other markets outside the US, or they have to give those markets up to competitors like the new Honda Rebel 1100 or the Indian Scout. Will purists scream bloody murder when the Sportster line is axed? And does it matter if they do? I'm betting that once the custom 1250 is ready for production, we will see the end of the existing Sportster line. I'm just wondering if it will happen in January 2021, or does the Sportster get a stay of execution for a little longer? Harley Davidson is a business and they have to do what makes business sense. Not all, but many people buying Sportsters today are new and young riders, and they don't have the loyalty to the air-cooled V-twin that the older Harley riders have. They're not shouting from the rooftops that this water-cooled bike isn't a real Harley, like the riders did when the V-Rod was released. And are older Harley riders that are screaming these things the ones that are buying Sportsters? Well, I don't see many experienced riders 
going out and buying Sportsters. And the few that I know that did either went back to a big twin or if they were looking to go to a smaller bike because of their age, they ended up simply giving up riding altogether. Before you go off in the comments tell me how I'm crazy for thinking Harley could ever replace the Sportster with this water-cooled engine, ask yourself, what are the odds you would buy a Sportster tomorrow? And I don't mean a used one to flip or one to collect because the price was right. I mean, how many of you are in the market for a brand new motorcycle and looking for something around 1200 cc's and you have a budget of around 11 or $12,000 to buy your daily rider? If you're one of those people, then leave, please leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts on this. In my recent video comparing the Rebel 1100 to the Iron 1200, I had tons of comments and some people claimed that the people who would buy a Honda Rebel were not the same people that would buy a Sportster. That these two bikes are not competitors. Some felt it was unfair to compare an air-cooled V-twin with push rods to an overhead cam water-cooled engine. Well, life's not fair. But in the interest of fairness, when we know more about the Custom 1250, I will compare it to the Rebel just so you guys won't feel like I'm picking on the old Evo Sportster engine. And for those who argue that someone that buys a Harley won't buy a Honda and that these two bikes are not competition for each other, well I think that's the Kool-Aid Harley wants you to drink. And if you walk into a Honda dealer and you say I was looking at the Harley Sportster the other day, what does Honda have in that same class, they're going to show you the Rebel. That's competition. Now, I definitely think the Custom 1250 will compete with the Rebel and stack up much better against it than the Iron 1200 did when you're looking at it on specs alone. When looking at these two bikes side by side, I definitely prefer the styling of the Custom 1250 over the Honda, which I got many comments people felt it was ugly. Styling and aesthetics are always going to be subjective, but they're still important in the decision making process for many buyers. Let's face it, looks matter. Not that I'm saying they're the most important thing, but everyone wants to own a motorcycle that they feel looks great. When they get off that bike and they start to head inside and they look back over their shoulder, it better make them smile one last time. In the words of the famous Willie G, form follows function, but both report to emotion. So what emotion does this custom 1250 invoke in you? And do you think the Sportster is dead in 2021? And if not, how long do you think it has left before it goes the way of the Dyna line? Oh, and don't forget, if you want to support the channel, I now have a Patreon, a merch store, and there are affiliate links for the products I use when making videos. Links for all that are in the description down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. If you dig it, hit that subscribe button down below, ring that bell to be notified the next time I drop a new video, and as always, Thank you for your support, stay safe, and keep on riding.